a godly fucking firestorm on you. And good afternoon, this is Warp 103 here, and we're tanking today with my wife, Diva Mama. Um, she's playing on a North American server, and we're trying to get her stats back up. Um, I'm actually sitting next to her when she was actually recording this, so I was trying to help her get a little bit better. Okay, I'm going to pause it right here. Okay, now as you can see from the way the tanks are laid out right now, um, she's actually going towards the circle, which is basically J8 area. Now, a lot of tanks, heavy tanks, would go and stay inside the city. But what we want her to do is, since she's in top tier, we want to actually have her bully the tanks that's usually on that side here, because usually the ones that go on that side here are lighter tanks. So, let's continue on from here. Now, we're going to speed up just a little bit so we can get it back on this side over here real quick. And, all right. Now, as you can see here, we have three E25s. Okay. But we do have a bunch of tanks that are in the city. Now, now we're staying right in the corner right here, which is a good thing to see if there's anything on this side right over here, which we don't see anything right this second. So, she is pushing forward. Now we do see AMX coming from that side there, but that's fine. It's not coming towards us right now. And oh, yes, it is. Okay, so the AMX is something we want to take care of fairly quickly. Now she's holding a fire so you can get close enough so it doesn't miss, and she gives a good shot on it. And now to keep it tracked, I told her to ram it. Well, someone else already killed it, so she didn't have to do that. Okay, now she's, you see she's not really worrying about the 50T. Um, the reason for that is it can't damage her. So I told her, don't worry about the tanks that cannot damage you. Bullet the tanks that you need to kill. And that's these T7s that are, excuse me, tier 7s that are on this side here. Now the E25C was going on, so they tried to run. And she just, good lead shot there, puts into it. And she sees that there's enough tanks on this side here to take care of the E25, so she starts to head towards this side here. Okay. Now, let's pause it one more time. Okay. Now, as you can see here, we've cleared out one side here, but there's a lot of tanks on the other side, and they are fairly grouped up, whereas our tanks are more spread out. So, I advise her to um, go back over and to help the guys in the city. Um, that way they won't be, you should be able to defend. Even though we're winning, the way we're spread out right now, they can easily pick off one tank at a time by having, as you can see in this area here with the blue is in, you have one, two, three, four, five, and there's only one tank here, one tank over here, so they're very spread out. All right, we're going to speed up the replay just a little bit. Now, as you can see, yep, that's the first one down there. You can see in rapid succession that tanks are going down fairly fast in that section. Okay, now we're at 8-8. Eight, eight. Now, we're looking for the, she's looking for the, um, I think it's the M6. She wanted to kill that because, again, that's one of their best players. Okay, she got rid of that player there. And, again, she's coming up behind to mop up the tanks. Great leading shot for her. And, again, now you see there's one cap and there's a tank behind her. Now, we got a good, again, she has to worry about the ones on cap. So, she, again, eliminates the one on his own cap. And goes after the KV-2. Now, again, she's not worrying about the tank that's behind her because it cannot damage her. Bully the tanks that you can. And don't worry about tanks that you know are going to bounce. Again. Now, she didn't notice she was ammo racked. I did tell her that. And it took her a second to fix the ammo rack. And once she did, you know, then she can actually 
do some work. Okay, well, yeah, you just got cherry bombed by a derp gun. Okay. Now we're going to speed back up again. Now again, she did put in chat to, you know, please let her get the top gun. But yeah, they weren't trying to do that. So she did try to snapshot a shot off and missed. But she did have the fortitude to try to go out and finish them off before they can come and take over. Now you can see her win eight for this battle here is at 2,478. So she did a great deal of damage. She's almost at 2K. And with this kill here, it puts her over 2K. All right, we're going to the garage now. All righty. So see the victory here. First class, bruiser, duelist. Fire for effect. Shell proof is always a good thing because you can block a lot of armor. Um, cool headed steel wall because again, she took 11 hits, so she did a great job. And top gun. Let's look at the team scores for her. Okay, she did 2,209 damage, 6 kills, and 1,240 XP. Let's look at the detail report. Okay, so. Overall, her shots were on point, and even with a derp gun, again, people complain about the derp gun is not accurate. Well, if you're close enough, yeah, it can be fairly accurate. So, she fired nine shots, eight shots hit, and of that eight, eight penetrated. Now, one is one shot she missed, because again, she's trying to get the snapshot, and hopefully no one's going to steal it, but she did in the end get the, the final kill. Okay. Damage, she did 2,209 damage as we recovered. She received 16 hits. Of that, only three pen and 13 were non penetration. So she blocked an overall 1,535 in damage, which is great. Okay. Now, money she made, she made 26,000, but she actually received, after spending out the expenditures, about 15,000. Again, so since this was not a 2x for the day, that is basic experience that she received. Now, I just want to go into Wall of Tanks Labs and see, tell you what's going on. Now, again, if you look at her win 8, her win 8 is, she's just a, well, carrot right now, so that, and she's almost back to being um, a lemon, like she, she was before us for that. As you can see by her recent win 8 and stuff like that. Um, it was very good. Now, the mistake what happened was that I actually got her the Jag Tight 8.8. .8. When I did that, as you can see plainly here, since it well, was so easily pinned, it dropped her off the map when it came to experience earned. And that made her win 8 just, well, because she did play a lot of battles inside of it. But once she stopped playing that tank, when it it's going back up to where it was before. Again, and it, her experience is going back up, and her win eight did drop down to here, but it's now almost 600. So, again, she's getting better at it. This is a good way to play. So, if you can, you really want to bully your tanks if you can. Um, if you're in a heavy, your job is to actually bully the tanks. If you're sitting back and being passive or, you know, camping base and everything else like that, your heavy tank is doing no good at all. Well, this is Warp 103. I'm going to be doing this series with uh, with her um, just to show you so that what a tank can do if you allow it to be played the way it's supposed to be played. And just try to point out a little bit of insights to help people out. Well, this is Warp 103. Warp out.